This is day three for us. This is the second year we've done the Dell Storage Forum and we've been witnessing the transformation of Dell from essentially a box maker into a company that owns its own intellectual property. It has put a major emphasis on storage and data center and including uh, servers and storage and networking. We've heard from all three of those groups today uh, or this week uh, and we'll hear more from, from customers and other experts today. Um, some news, Stu, uh, on Dell. Uh, Dell announced uh, this morning that uh, in a conference call that Michael Dell had with analysts, Wall Street analysts, that um, the company's going to pay a dividend. And um, stock's actually you know, up pre-market on that news. Uh, we've got the open now, so uh, I don't know what the current price is, but uh, it was up earlier this morning. <clears throat> and so Michael Dell told the analysts that he's gonna, they're going to increasing, the first thing he said is we're going to cut $2 billion of costs uh, over the next three years, and we're going to focus increasingly, he said, on the data center. Uh, with a particular emphasis on um, gear, hardware, storage, networking, and servers, and a secondary focus on software and services. And um, as I say, they also announced a dividend of 32 cents a share, and uh, the closing price yesterday was uh, just under 12 bucks. Yeah, Dave, it's interesting. At breakfast this morning, I was talking to a Dell customer and a Dell partner, um, and they, they were disappointed with Wall Street. They said, you know, Dell's really kind of turned themselves around. They're more profitable. They're growing, and, you know, we're kind of, we were talking about the dividend and said, you know, when are they going to get a little bump on that? So, you know, if they've got good growth potential, as you've pointed out, uh, all these products that they're adding in the data center have better margins than they had in the PC and server era. Yeah, so the stock's up uh, almost 4% today on that news. You know, Dell's a, it's obviously an interesting company. You know, a lot of Wall Street, I think, Wall Street analysts are, don't understand the company, frankly. They see Dell as a, a box seller with a name on the box. And, uh, and while that is, is true for much of the company's business, um, I'd say a couple things. One is, Dell always differentiated with the supply chain and its, and its distribution channel. It's an ability to, to have a customer experience that differentiated it from the competition. Now, of course, I understand why the street is paying less attention to that in the post-PC era, but Dell is transforming into a company that owns a lot of its own IP. Stu, the, the company's a $60 billion company and its valuation is around, just hovers over $20 billion. And so, uh, and it's got $14 billion of cash in the bank. So, in theory, Dell could buy back the remaining shares outstanding and essentially own the entire company. So it's got, you know, I think a lot of upside from that standpoint. The stock, you know, if, if they do aggressive buybacks, uh, the, the, the stock could, could go up. I mean, like I say, 14 billion in cash. You know, if you net out the cash, they're talking about, talking about $6 billion in value for a $60 billion company. You know, personally, I think that's undervalued to the extent that Dell can continue its transformation. 